All right, let's talk about batteries. Lithium iron phosphate is an old chemistry that used to be very popular, but because it wasn't as energy and power dense as the lithium cobalt oxide chemistries, then it kind of went away for a while, but it's making a resurgence. Lately, lithium iron phosphate is becoming very popular because it is long lasting and has very long cycle life and it's safer, right? It's less reactive. So when something goes wrong, it doesn't react as violently as the lithium cobalt oxide chemistries. And the energy density and power density is going up every year. And now it's actually reaching some of the same levels as the, as the lithium cobalt oxide uh, chemistries, right? Another reason why it is a good thing is that it doesn't have expensive rare earth metals like cobalt in it. And so uh, it's cheaply to manufacture. And so for that reason, it is becoming more popular. The only problem is that because this is kind of recent things, then the only way to get lithium iron phosphate batteries is to either get them new from China, which means that you'd have to wait a long time to get it because you usually have to ship it through a boat, you know, and the current state of the world means that, well, shipping is delayed for many months, right? I ordered some five months ago and I just received uh, some of these batteries, right? So that's typical of what the long wait times are. And so the way we usually get really inexpensive batteries here in the US is by harvesting out of old equipment that already has it, right? And because this used to not be so popular, then there's limited amounts of those, but we've managed to get some for you. Uh, and so let me show you what the deal is with these. All right, so here is what the modern, the current state of lithium iron phosphate batteries look like. They come in these big prismatic packs and they, there's several manufacturers that make them. I was able to find the cheapest at around $200 a kilowatt hour. And like I said, I had to wait about five, four to five months to get them, right? So here are the ones that we have. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries, and these are selling right now currently on our website for $90 a kilowatt hour, right? Why so much cheaper than those? Well, because there's a couple of caveats here, right? Uh, these ones, the first problem is that they come in a 5S configuration. And if you know the 3.2 volt nominal of these guys, then you know that most people are going to want to use them at uh, 4S, which is 12 to make 12 volts, right? And so at 5S, they, these make 14, which nobody really needs. You know, you can put three of these packs in series and then uh, that you do arrive at 15S and that'll, that's an acceptable uh, 48 volt, uh, right? And so if you want 48 volt, then you can use these without taking them apart, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want 12 volts, well, you have to take them apart and salvage the thing. But here's the other problem. The other problem is that these, the reason why we have them is because they use a really low quality BMS. And the BMS, most of the BMSs on these packs are, are dead. And so as a result of that, then you can't use that. You basically have to replace that BMS. A lot of the times what this BMS did was damage a one or two of these groups, right? These are grouped in three. And so sometimes like three cells will be dead and then the other ones are good. So because of those two things, these are very good for harvesting the cells. What does that mean? That means that you take these packs apart, right? And then you discard of any uh, bad cells, if there are any bad cells, and then you keep the good ones and then you remake, repackage, right? Build a, your own pack with whatever configuration you need to make either 12 volts or 24 volts or 48 volts, right? Uh, and so that's why these are priced very low at about $90 a kilowatt hour. Now, how can you make these bad, once you, once you do the work of taking them apart and you end up with raw cells, how can you put them together, right? Well, there's a bunch of different ways. You can do the same thing that they did here with, you know, uh, welding stuff, or you could use one of our brand new systems. These are uh, the same type of boards that we've been using for a while, uh, where they're PCBs and they use these holders. 
And here are some of our brand new cells that we have available also at Jack 35. And you buy this and it comes without the cells. And all you do is you put them in here. And now you've made a 4S battery that is 12 volts. Now, this is just one board. You can buy one board. And then it, we also have the BMSs. All you do is you use standoffs here and then you mount that on top. And then now that's a battery, a 4S battery, 1P 4S that has a BMS. And then, you know, it has a fuses in here and then it has an output cable, right? So this is a very quick, easy way to make small batteries, but also big ones. You could also stack them, you know, in kind of groups like this. This is, uh, you know, f uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, a, a set of five. And then what you can do is you parallel all these to make your battery bigger and stronger, right? So if this can output, you know, I don't know, 20 amps, then adding a second row of this, then you can do 40 amps. And, you know, you can add another 40 and another 40, and then all of a sudden you have something they could do somewhere around 100 amps, right? So you could do that by just connecting all of these cables together at the end, or you can get one of these boards that we're making. We're making several of these boards, and that's what they do. There's a board here, and all you do is you connect these little cables, and it keeps it nice, nice and neat, and everything is fused, keeps it nice and safe and compact. And this is a 48, uh, this is a 12 volt battery that is capable of 100 amps, right? So all of these systems are in our website. Uh, we just released this new system uh, that is designed for the 26650 uh, battery form factor and for the lithium iron phosphate, just like these. So if you want brand new cells, we have them available. You can use them from any source, right? Or you can uh, buy them in our store. We also have cheap, you know, well, affordable um, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now, of course, uh, you'd have to do some of the work, like taking them apart and uh, harvesting the cells out of all these packs, right? But that's why we're giving them to you uh, at a reasonable low price so that you can do some of the work and then you can build your own packs like this. Uh, and you can do, you know, this, this is, works with automotive 12 volts good for RVs. If you put three of these units in here, then you can do 36 volts for golf carts, for all kinds of things. This is good for storage because again, these batteries have a very long cycle life of thousands and thousands uh, of cycles, right? That's why everything is kind of moving back into lithium uh, iron phosphate chemistry. So there you go. If you're interested in a good battery that is long lasting and it's easy to build, you can get some of our things and then uh, our system to build uh, batteries quickly and easily. All right, this is just a quick video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.